Hey guys, today I'm going to be reviewing another terminal based application. Today I'm going to be reviewing CMUSE or CMUS or the C Music Player. It is a terminal based music player uh, from their webpage here. CMUSE is a small, fast, and powerful console music player for Unix like operating systems. CMUSE is available in pretty much everyone's repos in Debian or Ubuntu or any distribution based off of Debian or Ubuntu you would simply open a terminal and type sudo apt install cmus and hit enter I'm not going to do that because I've already installed it on my machine after you got cmus installed to launch it again from a terminal cmus hit enter and this is what you will see when you first launch cmus Obviously, you have no music displayed. You haven't added any playlists. By default, CMUSE has seven different, seven different uh, views or layouts, and they are binded to the keys on your keyboard: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One is the default view here, which is called the library view. Two on the keyboard gets you to the sorted library view. Three gets you to what is called the playlist view. Four gets you to the queue view. 5 is the browser view which is basically your local directory structure so you can search your system for music files to add to a playlist. 6 is the library filtering view and 7 is the settings view. It's basically a list of all the key bindings for CMUSE. So let's get started adding some music to CMUSE. Well, to add a, uh, some music to your playlist you need to type colon and then the word add colon add space and then the location to a, a directory where your music is stored so if I wanted to I could add everything that is in my music directory now my music directory on this machine has somewhere around 100 gigabytes of music I have a very large music directory on this system I'm going to go ahead and try to add the entire 100 gig music directory to this playlist just to show you how fast CMUSE is. I'm going to hit enter and it's going to take a few seconds before it gets everything loaded. Uh, looks like it's still going. Alright, now I think that was it. So not even 10 seconds it loaded over 100 gigabytes of music into this playlist. 704 hours, 51 minutes, and 17 seconds of music that is extremely fast you will never get any other music player to load that much music that fast certainly not a graphical music player like Rhythmbox or Amarok or any of that kind of stuff you know it would take 10 times 20 times as long as what that just took to load all that music into a playlist now that I actually have some music loaded into a playlist I'm going to go through the uh, views again you know one through seven again this is the default view this is the library view if I hit two on the keyboard. This is the sorted library view. Uh, I'm not sure how useful sorted library view would be for a very large playlist like I just loaded. I probably wouldn't use this one much. Three is the playlist view. I don't have any playlists to, to look at. Uh, the queue view, we have nothing queued. So, And then five is the browser. Again, nothing changes here. Library, same thing. And then settings, the key bindings again. So back to one, the default view. I'm going to get rid of this playlist, this gigantic playlist, which is just for a demonstration to show you how fast CMUSE uh, can add large amounts of music. To get rid of this gigantic playlist, I type colon again and then the word clear, and all that music goes away. Now I'm going to add some music that I can actually play on this video because I have to be careful what I play. You know, I don't want this video being taken down by YouTube. So I do have some recordings of myself playing some music that I could actually play on this video. So I'm going to do that now. So colon add again. And then I'm going to choose a location on, on my system where I have some recordings of myself. In this uh, instance, this is a recording of my graduate graduate recital when I was in college. I was a music major in college. Alright, this is the default library view again. It has a two-pane setup. On the left pane you have the artist. 
I only loaded one album, so there's only one artist listed here, and this is me. On the right pane is the track column. To get over to the track column, you hit tab on the keyboard, and now we can navigate through the track list. So, now that we're navigating through the track list, we found a track we want to play, how do we play it? Well, there's a couple of different ways you can do it. You can navigate to the song you want to play and hit enter on the keyboard, or you can hit X on the keyboard. Either one of them should start the song playing. And now the song I've chosen is playing. Now to pause the song, C on the keyboard toggles play pause. So C pauses, C again, starts the piece playing again. If I want to completely stop the song, V on the keyboard would stop it. Now I'm going to start it again with the X uh, key on the keyboard. We're going to start, start that same song playing. If I want to navigate through my uh, track list here, B on the keyboard will get me to the next track on the list and it will automatically start it playing. Z on the keyboard will go to the previous song on the playlist and start it playing. So I hit Z a couple of times up and it starts a new song. Now I'm going to type C again to pause. And that's just a basic overview of the key, key bindings for CMUs. The common ones you, you will use the most for play, pause, stop, previous, next. And I'm going to start one of these songs playing again. And I'm going to show you how to search through the song. So, using the right and left arrow keys, we'll move around in increments of five seconds through the song. So the right and left arrow keys will skip through the song in increments of five seconds. Uh, for those that like to use the Vim keys, H and L also skips through the song in increments of five seconds. If you want to move in bigger chunks, the period on your keyboard skips one minute forward in the song. The comma on your keyboard skips one minute back into the song. I will mention that the key bindings for CMUs, the default ones anyway, are not very intuitive. They're not exactly what you would expect them to be. So you, you will have to spend some time reviewing the manual for CMUs to, to get used to some of the key bindings. So again, inside CMUs it, itself, you have the key bindings layout mapped to uh, 7 on the keyboard. Hit 7 and you have your key bindings list here, which is all the key bindings for CMUs. Or you can, from a terminal, CMUs, or excuse me, MAN, CMUs, get you the MAN page for CMUs. It will also include all the key bindings. Why would anybody choose to use CMUs over a more robust graphical music players such as Rhythmbox, Amarok, Clementine, Banshee, those sort of applications. Well, there are a few reasons why a lot of you probably would choose something like CMUs over something like Rhythmbox. One is just the sheer speed of CMUs. I showed you guys how fast it loaded that 100 gigabyte directory of music. Uh, that is insanely fast. You will not find any music player that would load that many music files as quickly as CMUs did. Certainly not something like Rhythmbox. It would have taken much longer to load a playlist like that into Rhythmbox. Uh, another advantage is memory usage. CMUs uses something like 15 megs of memory. Very, very low memory usage. So you guys that are running hardware that's you know lower end, you know, you're kind of limited on hardware. CMUs is definitely a music player you want to take a look at. Another advantage of CMUs is extensions. If I go to the CMUs GitHub page here, you see they have a list of, you know, not a very long list, but they have quite a number of extensions that you can add to CMUs. Uh, various things for displaying programs, binding, binding scripts, remote control front ends, theming options. They have one called Detachable CMUs, where CMUs runs in the background in a uh, daemon mode. Looks like we have extensions for YouTube, 
playing music directly from YouTube, uh, Spotify, that sort of thing. So there are some extensions available for CMuse. So I recommend you guys give CMuse a try. Uh, the only negative I found to it, again, is the default key bindings are a little iffy, but because it's so customizable, you can change the key bindings to anything. So check out CMuse, guys. Peace.